I've come up to the driving range to talk about the modern posture. It's important to get as many things across as possible, so this next video may take a little bit longer than my normal two or three minutes. However, stay with it because I know you're going to really enjoy some of the information that I pass across. Too many players, including some professionals, don't realise the value of the legs in the setup position. It's so important to get the stability of the lower half of your body working in a good way. When you watch some of the top professionals on television, you can see that they address the ball in such a good position that it makes their golf swing thereafter much more simple to produce over and over again. Here's a great visual thought for you to get into the right setup position. Take Roger Federer, for example, in tennis. The way that he returns a serve, he'll stand with his knees very flexed and his back straight. He's in this position waiting to return the serve and just before the server hits the ball, only then does he start to lift up and move. Or alternatively, somebody like David James, who's going to save a penalty. Look at the position he gets into here, if I turn face on to you. The position he's in here is a fantastic position to be able to move to the right or move to the left. He's very dynamic in that position. Remember, golf is a sport. You need some athleticism there. If I turn this way on, you can see the position I'm in there. But that's a great thought because if I want to get into a golf position from there, I simply, that's me in the penalty position, I would simply pick up the club and put some a little less flex in my legs. I'm in a good position there to go ahead and hit a golf shot. So those two thoughts for you, I want you to be athletic. Stand like you're saving a penalty there, or like you're returning serve, like Roger Federer. So I want you to stand like you're playing a sport, not like you're ordering a glass of Pims at the Henley Regatta. Now if we stand side on again, from this position here, I want you to bend forward from the hips. We're going to put some flex into the legs there. We're keeping the feet, the knees, the hips and the shoulders all very square. From there we're going to let the arms hang. So you can see that the similarities a second ago to returning a serve or saving a penalty. From that position, everything's super square. We can go ahead from there and be able to make a really simple turn on plane. Keeping this spine angle in the right position is very, very important. If you can work hard in improving the position that you stand to the ball at address, you'll dramatically increase the odds of putting a good swing on it. From the face on position, we've got the toes, the knees, the hips and the shoulders all square. We've got the arms hanging out in front of us, head in a very relaxed, natural position. Then from here, we're going to feel the weight coming down the inside of our legs, down into the inside part of our feet. We want to stay centred here. We don't want to push out to the outside. If anything, feel as if the knees are pressed slightly together. We're trying to create some a relaxed position here, but with the right sort of tension. In this position, you'll be able to let your arms hang in front of you and create this, first of all, this V position that you see with my arms, moving into a Y position when we use the club as well. From here, you can see that my hands are set just in front of my club head. I see a lot of amateurs start to move their club, their hands too far behind the club head. Not a good position to get in. Let's set some really good angles in this address position and then we can go ahead and start to turn away from the ball really well. Now bear in mind, as we take this setup position, because our left hand is above our right, so will our left shoulder. So we'll be sat on a slight tilt. So feel as if that right shoulder is just below. This is going to really help you to be able to make the correct turn on the backswing. Some extra tips to work on the posture. Go ahead and set up using a mirror at home. Set up face on, but especially to the side. Get these feet and these knees and these hips, get all your angles in position. You can see how your hands won't hang between your legs. You should have your shoulders over the toes of your feet. From there, our arms hang very naturally. It allows us to make a very smooth turn back, uninterrupted from our legs. So as I say, go ahead and practice that in the mirror. It's also quite a good idea to have a friend either take a picture of you at your address position, or even some video. That will give you some real good visuals into what you're actually doing. Then, go ahead and compare these results to some of the pros that you see on television. That will give you some really good feedback as to how good a position you're actually in. Remember, the better the quality position you're in at the start of your swing, 
more likely is the chance that you're going to go ahead and make a great golf swing. Reading an article on the golf swing is all good and well, but watching fantastic images of how to swing the club is dramatically going to increase the speed at which you learn. Think about the way that you used to learn when you were a child. This is so key. Go ahead and watch a lot of the videos that we've done on this website. Go ahead and watch a lot of golf on television. Watch, study, understand, and then implement some of the great swings that you see on the television. Fill your mind with great images and your body will react. All that's left is the simple task of gripping the club correctly. There's three grips to choose from. Number one, if you have slightly larger hands, you'll go for the overlap grip. The other option is the interlocking grip. And the final option is the baseball grip. Now with all of these grips, we're trying to get the thumb on the left hand in a position so the V points over our right shoulder. When we put the right hand on, again, the V should point over our right shoulder. Get these things right and you'll be ready to go ahead and execute a great golf shot. So now you're ready to go and make a world-class setup. Go ahead and watch the video on sequencing the swing, which will show you the next steps and show you the way we really want you to swing the golf club.